Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am doing my 31 and 32 week bump date. So, if you've followed along this far or if you're brand new, please stick around and let's get started. Okay, so the first question is how far along are you? And currently, the day that I'm filming this, I am 32 weeks and six days. So tomorrow I will be 33 weeks pregnant, which is crazy to me. Total weight gain so far, um, is as of today 21 pounds so that's good we're getting up there and I'm excited maternity clothes a hundred percent I actually have a motherhood maternity bag sitting right there I have a dress and two shirts from there that I got just yesterday because I was trying I have had maternity pants but I've been trying to wear like t-shirts and styles of shirts from Target um, just like regular t-shirts in a size up or two sizes up but they're too short now my belly keeps popping out they fit everywhere else but my belly like the under part it just doesn't go all the way down so I got a couple new shirts and a super cute just like t-shirt dress for summer and just how hot it is <sighs> just yesterday so I'm definitely Wearing maternity clothes and buying more. <laughs> Stretch marks. I still don't have any on my belly, but I do have them on my hips and like on my lower hip thighs, like the, where they connect. So on my actual like hips and then that part of my leg, like the outside of my thighs. How are you sleeping? That has been the roughest thing yet. I've been going to bed either super early or super late. Um which late is normal for me, early is not. And I'll still wake up in the middle of the night, I still won't be able to go back to sleep, and I will still wake up at like four, five, or six, depending on when Duke has to go to the bathroom or when Riley gets up um, to either get ready or to leave for work. I don't go back to bed after that. So it's been really hard the last couple of days, especially in week 32, because I've just had a really hard time sleeping. Um, so I hope that gets better, especially since we're moving to our own place this weekend. I mean, pending everything goes well. We'll be back in our bed and we'll have like our space. So I'm sure for the first week it'll be hard, but hopefully after that we'll get used to it and settled and it'll be better. Best moments this week have just been planning the baby shower and then she's moving constantly like I can feel like a tiny little foot popping up and things like that like she's moving like crazy she's head down and it's just been a lot of fun knowing that and then like being able to feel and understand like okay that's probably a foot that's probably a hand that's her head it's been crazy <sighs> missing anything um, bending over to like put my shoes on or <laughs> not having like super swollen achy feet. Uh, movement, I already talked about 100%. Yes, she's moving like crazy. Food cravings. I haven't really been craving much this whole pregnancy, but the last two weeks I cannot get enough of the Tillamook brand Utterly Chocolate Ice Cream. It's white chocolate and dark chocolate or in milk chocolate, like just regular chocolate ice cream and white chocolate ice cream mixed with little tiny chocolate chips in the chocolate swirl and just the, the white chocolate is just so creamy. Tillamook is the best ice cream brand, I feel like. It's so good. I literally ate, are you okay bud? I literally had like um, some bacon and some eggs and some toast for breakfast and then I was still sitting there and I'm like, got a little bowl of ice cream like it was so yummy I crave it all the time anything making you queasy or sick um not really but obviously like lack of sleep doesn't make me feel very good so by the end of the day I don't feel very good but no smells or anything are making me queasy or sick labor signs so last week week 31 I did have some cramping and Braxton Hicks contractions and they lasted for about 45 minutes and they definitely like spiked and like would get really strong would ease off but still felt really crampy so I was timing those and that was kind of scary um it was not a big deal it didn't turn into anything obviously but um I mean, it's my first baby, I, I have no idea what's going on. So having those first like cramps and contractions, it was 
so crazy. I was standing in the shower and I'm just like, oh my gosh, we have nothing for a hospital bag. We have nothing. We don't even have our own house yet. Like we haven't even moved in yet. Like it's just been very surreal the last couple of weeks realizing like that this is happening. So, and then week 32, I've just had a really tight stomach um, and lots of movement, but not really any contractions or anything like that. Symptoms, I don't really, I never really understand this question. So other than like the labor signs and then like being super tired, no, I guess no symptoms. I don't know. Belly button in or out, it's, <laughs> basically a closed hole and in certain shirts it does pop out like if I'm wearing a thin shirt or a thin dress you can see like part of it popped out but it's not fully out it's not rounded like it's just still pretty flush it just is like no hole <laughs> wedding rings on or off I'm still so surprised by this my wedding ring is still on I can't wear my band and I can't wear my promise ring my promise ring has been off for weeks and so is my band but I can still wear my like engagement ring which is weird but I thought my hands were getting so swollen before and now it's gotten so much hotter I'm surprised that it doesn't hurt but it doesn't it's fine happier moody most of the time I'd still say moody the last couple of weeks I have blamed it on moving and being stressed and that is true however now I think I'm just being moody because a the pregnancy and B I am stressed out we still have to move and take care of Duke and let him get adjusted and figure all of that out it is really stressful so it's making me a lot moodier than I guess I expected what are you most looking forward to that is an easy one I get a spray tan tomorrow on Friday which I'm super excited for and then my baby shower is on Saturday and we also move on Saturday so a lot is happening my sister's coming into town um, some of my friends are coming to the baby shower and I just can't wait to celebrate her we're announcing her name on Saturday um, fingers crossed all goes well we'll announce like it to the people at the party obviously um, and if I can get that video done the way that I want to and we can get a picture so I can post it for like all of our Facebook like family members and then everyone who follows me on Instagram we will be announcing her name on Saturday so you should be seeing this Thursday or Friday there's still time to go follow me and make sure that you find out what her name is as soon as we announce it I'm so excited and the video will be posted on here but Instagram will probably know first because it takes a long time to get videos up because of how slow the Wi-Fi is so just so you know <laughs> and the last thing is belly shot so I'll show you guys my belly and then we'll end the video from the front the side and the other side it is nice and red and like a little Easter egg Okay, that is my belly at 32 weeks and six days. And that was my whole bump date. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed. I hope that you guys like find these videos interesting or helpful or just like fun to watch. And I love reading the comments below of you guys saying like at this week I had these symptoms or like I had the same things and I'm four weeks behind you or things like that. Like I can't believe how many of you are pregnant at the same time as me. It's been so fun. We've been like DMing on Instagram, messaging on here, and talking in the comments. It's been a blast. So, if you are an expectant mama and you are just found out you're pregnant, or if you're close along like I am to the end, then let me know because I really have had a lot of fun chatting with you guys. I love you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.